Today, I'm gonna guide you through a glute and hamstring focus leg workout. Uh, for reference, I'm using either a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or the bar. If you don't have any of these, you can use the bar that comes with the Marcy Gym, but you will be limited to how low you can um, stretch your hamstrings and your glutes. And one more other thing, when you're doing these movements, these are all gonna be hip hinging movements. So for reference, if you keep your hips closed, you're working out more of your hamstrings, right? And if you open up your hips just slightly, now you're gonna be feeling the glutes more. So remember that as we're going through the workout, just make sure your hips are open so you can activate your glutes a lot more during the movements. So let's get started. Just now. Oh, and by the way, one second. Ugh. If these are too uh, light for you, you can also just tie a band to your legs and do these. Um, we're doing this one. Right
you always want to finish at the bottom so remember we're going to go slow on the way down and then fast up on the way up and remember keep your hips open down 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 up up start a rest timer <laughs> all right let's go do two sets of these you should start to feel your hamstrings and your glutes at this point if you don't already. Remember to keep your hips open like I'm, I've been saying. So, yeah. If you need to rest longer, you can always just call into the video. Uh, it will be fresh time for you, but I just want to make sure that you're moving along and not wasting your time sitting. next one um, I'm gonna be using the kettlebell and the hand that doesn't have the weight in it is gonna be positioned on the glutes and so I'll be standing like this and as you're coming up remember to keep your knees and your ankle like in the same plane of direction and just try to feel your butt contract as you come back up and so you should feel the more hair than you do in your quads if you're doing it properly 
Ooh, so much talking. <laughs> Left leg is pretty much just a guy. get a deeper stretch in your butt when you're down so you can get a better activation versus having it down here and you're not gonna feel much in your butt when you're doing it that way so this is gonna help a lot in feeling that contraction and you can use this if you want uh, but yeah I like doing it this way at least this is safer for people and you know it's just catch yourself you kind of stumble over Ooh, these breaks are too short easily. This is no joke.
flexible than me, you can definitely have your feet elevated to get an even deeper position for your glutes to be that much more activated. If I had a stable bench, we would have been doing hip thrust instead, but because I don't trust this uh, nah, to be that stable, we're going to do these instead, which is almost as good, not as good, but it still uh, <laughs> gets the job done. Whew. break short obviously because you might not have super heavy weights at home and this will just keep your muscles engaged for like what two three minutes and then the exercise is done last one Slow, 
slow, slow, slow, slow, and up. Slow, 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 and up. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow. here uh, last exercise <sighs> one second whoo all right last exercise it's gonna be the kickbacks uh, yeah so you can consider this like the refining tool where these all of these were just the bigger paintbrush and this is the smaller one to really get that definition that you want once you build up the big <sighs> once you build up your butt with the big exercises <sighs> as you can see I am I'm out of breath I'm trying to talk and breathe it's ridiculous <laughs> all right so we're gonna start with our left leg first Oh, huh. might want to reduce the weight. As a matter of fact, let's, we don't really need anything heavy. Um, if you have a bigger and stronger butt than me, definitely go to the tens. But I'm a pretty small guy and I don't need that much weight to activate my glutes anyways. Especially after doing that. Like, <laughs> I do not want to be uh, doing the wrong thing. So pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. Um, Opposite leg is gonna come across and in front, and then you're just gonna kick to the side. So let me start my timer. 30 seconds, let's go. And if you want, you can just, again, I like to have this hand on the butt so I know that I'm actually squeezing that muscle. workouts where it's not hard on your cardiovascular system is as you're doing the opposite leg the leg that you pre previously did has already been rested and you can just jump right back into the movement <laughs>
that's the thing about glute exercises. It's like the biggest muscle in your body, and when you work that out, you're gonna sweat like a ton. Ugh. Switching. That's what I'm doing. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I felt that one. Ooh. Definitely engaged. So, ah. Hey, listen. Um, for best results, I do have another lower body workout. And so, if you're trying to really work on your glutes, I would do this. Like, like let's say you do this on Monday, right? And then on Thursday, you do the other workout. That way, you're not overloading on your glutes because the other workout I do more quad hamstrings and calves maybe some more glutes but this is like in total nine i think 10 sets for your glutes which is enough for the whole week and so you can do this once a week or you can do this and the other one more than thursday just two days of rest in between and uh you'll be golden but as always if you made it to the end of this video <laughs> thank you for watching and uh let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and i can probably do another variation of this maybe more single leg movements for those of you who don't have heavy weights at home and i will see you in the next video so enjoy the rest of your day